That crying girl in the beginning episode, right? She seems so humble. She's changed. She's not this like obnoxious and like entitled little baby anymore. Now, why does she change? It's because of bullying. That's what happens when you bully a kid, make her cry, and let her know her place. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. I just think that it's funny that I was like shitting on her even though she's a baby. And I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Anyways, let's begin TV's reaction. <laughs> Uh, I think it's more than that though. Oh, come on! You can't just shit talk her right in front of her. She heard it all. Loli Senpai? I mean, she does kind of look like a token lolly, I'm not gonna lie. She got something for Aqua? Is she following? But <laughs> We're going to a dude that still lives with his mom. Nothing wrong with that. I just think that it's hilarious whenever the mom came in during the epic moments. <laughs> like, you're embarrassing me in front of the kid, mom. <laughs> she is... And honestly, this persistence, there's a charm to it. Huh. So she's like the overbearing, annoying type. But I mean, look at that smile, though. Bye. No, I don't got time for you. <laughs> Carry on. Oh, damn. She's, she's just like so bold. Oh <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> want to go to karaoke with me? Nah. You want to come over to my place instead? Like what? How do you go from this to that? See, she doesn't fuck around. Okay. Why does it feel like she's going to suggest a love hotel next? She is so down bad. This is ridiculous. Dude, how is she so in love with him? Like, directors. <laughs> Hello, mom. Oh, we're gonna eat together. This is the best type of mom, man. She's great. Huh. <laughs> I mean, let's see you grow up and you move out and half your fucking paycheck goes to rent and you can't save for shit and everything's just increasing in price. Motherfucker, you... I, th I, I, there's, I think... She, all she does is just order just fucking DoorDash and just Uber. But like... Oh! Let's see how long that runs out, huh? Let's, let's see how long that runs for. Does he really just suck, though? Is he in his head or because like he was really good as a kid actor but again that niche doesn't follow over when he obviously grows up so does he really just suck or is he underplaying it okay nah he's not he's, he doesn't give a shit <laughs> <laughs> What's that little jump? <laughs> Yo, they're putting a lot of animation effect into her. Mm. I'll take a background tree. Oh, does he know? Hmm. There's just a guy that he knows? One of the targets? Why? Why are you getting so serious? Was he one of the ones on it? Holy shit. So he is a he is a potential. Okay, so we gotta get there and take his hair and do a DNA test, right? Thirty seconds. Like, how many digits is this? Wait, how, how many digits? <laughs> like, if it's like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five. So is, isn't it like a permutation of like zero to nine, so ten choices, but like five positions, so it's like ten to the power of like five or something, so it's like. Yeah, just, you know, the math. Something like that. There she- Okay, he's in. I love it when his eyes like that. Dude, when that star is like dark. Dude, it's- It's actually gives me chills. Kaburagi is one of them in there, huh? Boom. See, when the eye, the star just like extends. Oh, it's so good. Okay. <laughs> Not for the reason that you think though. <laughs> the femboy. <laughs> the, the main character. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> yes, for the femboy. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, why not? The femboy boss is gonna change her mind. Uh, I thought she might be a little bit disappointed or like, oh, you don't like me, but. Huh. Huh, okay. I doubt that this is the dad. It just doesn't make sense. Like, the first culprit will be, you know the dad already unless 
they're doing like a double like like it makes you think like oh you really don't think that the first person is gonna be the dad psych it actually was like something like that maybe you gotta do it for mama come on come on i have no such love dude that was like one of the last things your mom was talking to you about when she was dying lofty ambition come on wow is that one out of five stars? I can't tell by the review down there. A villain? Oh shit, what? Is this IRL? Is this her real life or is she playing the character in the show? Okay, okay. I was gonna say, that is so depressing. That's how she lives right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they always pose like that? <laughs> huh? Okay, there's some dynamic. Okay. I, I don't know if they're enjoying it. I this is pretty mid. I I think this is pretty bad, right? And based on their reactions too, it's like... Maybe Aqua will show up and they'll be like, this show is ass. There was like one of the five stars there. But the last episode, Aqua will be the villain. And then suddenly he'll make the show so much better. It'll go viral. And then he's going to get other opportunities. Probably something like that, right? There's no shot they would introduce us to this show that's doing so bad. Only for Aqua to come at the end. Nah, 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 dude. Yeah, it's pretty trash. Mid. Mid. Lolly senpai more like mid senpai. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you like her Hello <laughs> well, Are you telling her that her sister said you're mid? <laughs> Your reputation's down the gutter. This show has like a one out of five star. What do you mean? Okay, so we're trying to get that like boys love like yaoi bait. Gotcha. Okay, there's a big market for that so that's why the content's bad. You know, they just look for the appearance first. So like, you're gonna also be a ham actor? <laughs> You've got nice nails. <laughs> you look so pretty today. <laughs> this pretty boy trope is so funny to me, dude. Especially when they overact it. Maybe Aqua coming in, you know, will get her to act even better. Because like, some of the my caliber also showed up. Hmm? Was the author pissed off? Oh, yeah, she was like, she was like, you're really going to butcher my source material for this shitty ass show? Uh, that's the truth, though, right? A lot of people, the original content creator, their work will be translated into something else. And it'll be just like so fucking bad. But the money is so good that they have to do it or they're already like signed into a contract. It's, oh, my God. Imagine your proud work being bastardized like this. Now she's maturing so much. And remember, what took her to mature? For her to fucking cry after being told that she was shit because that question up. No, that didn't really happen, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, she's really grown up. <laughs> what was that like? Animation. Hey, you're supposed to be Lolly Senpai. Why do you look like a MILF right now? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, let's give her that. I mean, she's pretty objectively good looking, right? But, uh. <laughs> Her personality too, it's pretty fiery. Honestly, I like it. She's very fun. Damn. She's willing to put her own, you know, ego off just for this show. Really mature now. <laughs> Why is he always posing like this? <laughs> They're excellent at making a mid content. Immensely talented. He acknowledges her. Oh, his eyes doing that thing again. Wait, wait, wait. Focus. The, we're not here to make a good show. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta get his hair. We gotta get the director's hair and do a DNA test. Don't, don't remember. Focus on the plot. Main character. <laughs> this humidity makes my hair frizzy. <laughs> so extra, dude. The stalk? Oh, he's the st The villain's the stalker? Okay. Damn, bro. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get your ass back here. Bro, we are gonna take your job and be on this after this episode. No. Mm -mm. Dude, later on, we'll be the ones saying hi. Just leave. How dare you? It's kind of like, he's kind of like her when she was a kid though, huh? There is no way he's the dad, right? Like, it's the first suspect. There's no way, unless again, they're going with the the... The path of 
Okay. But uh, like they're making us think that there's no way the first suspect is the dad, therefore it is the dad. Like unless they go with that kind of thing, no shot. Doesn't he look anything similar to Aqua and Ruby? I, I honestly can't tell, man. I don't know. But the hair is an important thing. The hair color. Ruby and Aqua both blonde, right? And I had purple hair. And he kind of seems it's kind of grayish now, but yeah, that's kind of fucked. That's kind of fucked. Don't give me a cliffhanger. Okay, good, good, good. Don't tell me he has a knife. Don't tell me he has a knife. Like he's, bro. I'm getting, I'm getting triggered. This is PTSD from episode one. They're not gonna show us the acting. Oh, where's the knife? Come on, do a little stabby stab. The hair! <laughs> See? He cares more about the hair, like the water on his face. Like, come on, dude. If it's a true actor, he would ignore that. I really feel like he's underplaying himself. Like, there's no way he's trash. I think it's just an internal complex because of what happened in the past. Mm. That is kind of true. Again, that's like a one-trick pony thing. But like, he, once he's grown, he can't keep, keep doing that specific niche. But you gotta figure out what makes you remarkable and pursue that instead. Oh, thank you. She's blushing. She's blushing. Is she really into Aqua? Like, she is so down bad for him. I hope this final episode pops off so that she can do better to engage her roles. <laughs> no, I'm not lost. I'm in my peak right now. No, don't read the hate comments. She's been on that grind though. Yeah. Mm. She's so great. This is such a good mentality to have. Like, this is just so good. Her whole redemption arc since a kid, like the way she's matured, the way the positive outlook she has, ignoring the haters and continues to grind no matter what. Like, that's that's very compelling. She's great. Oh? Is she implying? Oh? Did you understand that? He does not give a shit about this filming, dude. He's, he's thinking about the other projects he has in mind. Like, this dude. dude ah, that is such a shitty way to treat her. Like, you know how Kana kept saying Kaburagi and her has something like going on and that he favors her. But like the way that the way that he treats her and when he his true thoughts about her, like, Aqua, do something. Get his hair. Smack his head and say if it's an accident, then, I don't know, get some hair. It'll be two for one. She's, cause she takes passion in her craft. The, the smoking? Is he gonna take the bud? There's some saliva there? Oh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. How did he know which one was his, though? <laughs> I, th I really thought that he would try- Okay, he got multiple. Imagine he didn't grab the correct one, but like... I thought he would try to like, pluck his hair or something. The hood's back on. That eye is so cool. Cliffhanger, come on, don't! Kana is so great, man. Her whole redemption, the way that she's been humble, the way that she treats everybody with respect, and despite the haters, she continues to grind, and look where she's now, making some mid-content. It's not her fault, it's hard out here, okay? She's trying her best. I hope that Aqua's villain performance really, like, pushes this show's trajectory and, like, goes viral in, like, a better position. He keeps saying that he's bad at acting. I think there might be some truth to that, because, again, he was a one-strip pony of being, like, a kid actor, but talking like a grown man or something like that, and he can't do that anymore. But maybe the this is just more of his inner complex at work and he actually can act. We'll see how that goes. He got the swab though. I really don't think that this is going to be dead, but we'll see what happens. But hey, if you're still here, if you'd enjoyed this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.